back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to plan for the week beginning 9th of January through to the 4th of February and I'm going to be using this new chapter from Coffee Monsters Co. So I have my kit. I've used one or two of these stickers but the majority of it's here. So we have our first page, all the little food boxes. This is one of my favourite kits she's ever done. I love the colours in it, the browns and blues together are just gorgeous. Let me zoom you in. So that's what the first page looks like. And then the second page here. And then the third page. As well as that, I also have some extra add-ons. So there's doodlish headers called bookish, but, the, but it's these headers down here. So it matches with the new chapter kit, even though it doesn't say a new chapter. And then I have some of these left as well, a new chapter sticky notes. And then I'm going to be using my Planner Monkey Co. dates. And I'll be starting a new sheet actually. There we are. And I have two washies that match this. So we have the Book Nerd version, it's Book Nerd 2.0, as a grey background with all the different nerdy and bookish and modies. And then we have this newer one in browns. I actually can't remember the name of this off the top of my head. I will look it up and put it up there. But it also goes because it has lots of uh, reading and modies. It has the wee nerd again, but books in front of it, the wee lamp. Um, book stuff. So both of them go equally and I couldn't decide between the two which one I wanted to use. <laughs> so I'm going to use them both. Why not? So I need to cover this top bar as usual because of the colour that's in it. Um, and I don't actually have Monday to Tuesdays in here. So as well as using the Planner Monkey Code dates, I'm going to get some day headers and I actually have quite a lot of day headers from Planner Monkey Co that have like a brown swatch in the back. I will double check my, oh this is the wrong one, wrong book. Here, this is what I'm looking for. So we have these and they have the days of the week with like a little swatch behind them. Here. Um, these are all Planner Monkey Co. But I'm just going to double check and see what else I have. Mm, no. And these are more autumn things. Use them with the wintry ones. Yeah, let's use some of these brown ones and let's go with. I'm just going to use these ones along the very edge, the lightest ones, I think. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get the base down. I'm going to do the top and the bottom as a starter. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Dreaming of you, dreaming of you, 
forgot that Helen added extra dots to her kits and that this was made before that, she reformatted them. So I don't have seven dots. So I'm just gonna put one of my Zig Clean Color Marker dots in. This is Oatmeal 602. Um, and hope, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, yeah, and I totally made a complete Horlicks of that weekend sticker. <coughs> and decided just to sacrifice it because it just didn't look right. I tried to salvage it, but it wasn't working. Okay, right. So, let's do the sidebar. I've been doing on the sidebar every week a, like a vinyl sticker. Let's see, like there's one here, there, there. So it's been something that I've been doing every week. But this is the first week that I don't have a vinyl sticker. But I, I don't mind if I end up not using one. I like the idea of using one every week because I have this weird thing about consistency like that. But it wouldn't be the end of the world if I didn't. But what I'm going to do is take a look at my vinyls and my seal stickers and see is there something that would go with this theme and put it in. And then if, if not, like I said, I'm not going to force it or panic about it. It doesn't matter. Um, so I have these coffee and tea seals. Um, look, I have two of them as well. I didn't notice that first off. Yeah, I'm going to use this little reading emoji. Perfect. In front of a latte. Yay! I was all prepared for not being able to find one and just forgetting about it, and I found one. <laughs> he can go right there. Right, and then I needed to find a little box to write what week it is, and we are on week number five already. Let's use, I could use a little reading emoji, but then I have that reading emoji there directly above it, so I think I'll use this one with the table. And that's where I'll write what week it is. Crooked. And then I need to mark work, but I have tons of these doodle banner things, separators. So I might as well use them to separate each thing. So that's what week it is. And then work and Instead of a work label, let's put in this little speech bubble and write work because I like to be able to record did I work from home, did I work in the office because when you're looking back at it and you see oh I was in the office on Wednesday or whatever, it's part of your day, like where were you, were you in the house or were you in work and it's fun to look back on like I said and I do have this. And I'm going to cut off Saturday and Sunday because I don't work Saturday and Sunday. And then let's do another doodle banner. <coughs> doodle banner. I can just about talk. These are perfect little space fillers. And I think that's why I went ahead and got the extras, even though I knew I was never going to need them all for one week. If I have leftovers of this, it's something that I can use as a space filler anywhere, really because it's coffee essentially and books and a candle and more books and gorgeous colours that are quite neutral that'll go with everything. Anyway, yep, so we have work. Then I just need my this week and there is a this week sticker for Instagram and YouTube. And then I don't need anything else so I'm going to get my reading washi because I have the nerd stuff down at the bottom, book nerd, and a little bit up there and then I have the whatever this one's called up at the top and I'll put a little bit down here. I'll probably use it throughout the week too but just want to make sure I have a balance of the two. I hate ripping washi like halfway through in a modi. like if I ripped it there can you see it would probably cutting it off in my hands but see if I put that there it would rip half of that little um, dude off um, and that annoys me so I'm just going to let it go past the line over where the time is including the little light bulb. I 
because I'm weird and don't want to rip the little emoji. And then this little space, let's do another doodle banner. In fact, let's do a gap, the doodle banner. And what can we do in there? Is there like little washi strip style stickers? Doesn't look like it. What if I take one of these and cut it in half? Or just use it as a washi strip, it doesn't have to say anything. I don't need to cut it in half either. Yay! So that's the sidebar done. I'm going to write it in um, with my Zebra Sarasa and this is the dark grey. Oh no! <laughs> oh Ruth, you idiot. That's supposed to be what week it is. I'm not going to waste a sticker. I think I'm going to actually do a little post-it note rather than a box for the week. Let's do this one. It was a happy accident, I think, because I actually prefer this. And then write week five. It is week five, isn't it? I'm doubting myself. Yes. And then I write it in after the fact because sometimes I change my mind. And this isn't, this is more a memory thing for me, this part, because I could plan to work from home on the wedding, or work from the office on Wednesday and then not go in, or like this week. Oh, I forgot to write the Thursday and Friday in. Yeah, so that's what it's, it looks like whenever it's filled in. And then, like I was saying, I don't always know because I didn't know I was going to be off sick the Monday to Wednesday of that week. So I don't go ahead and fill it in in advance. Right, let's do our little full boxes. We only have six. So I'm just going to space them out at random because we can't have one every day. I'm going to add some blue down to the bottom here and put one in this space. And then just not overthink the rest of them and add them in. I love this wee one with the cat. I think I'll put that in the Monday. Let's do it about here. I have some photo frames behind me in the corner, um, two for my living room which is going to be this room that I'm sitting in and a set of ten for upstairs because I have wanted wall art, um, a wall in my new studio to have all little bits of art forever. The first piece I collected I bought in 2019, that just goes to, hold on. <laughs> Right, so I have four left and I have seven days, so I don't want to do them two days in a row, I don't think. So let's do one up here. Um, yeah, so I've been collecting them from 2019. Um, and I just purchased a digital piece there. But my issue with it is, one, I'm really overthinking it. <laughs> and I've, I've took a step back, long story short now, to take a one step at a time approach because I was really overthinking what I wanted to put in my studio, how I wanted to lay it out, how, right down to the very, how I'm going to organize the drawers. And it, I was getting decision fatigue and it's like, I can't make every decision at once. So I'm going to take the approach that I do one thing at a time. And at the minute, lots of Stephen's stuff is sitting in that room because we need to buy some storage. Um, and I've been saving up because we just put floors in at the end of last year and needed to save up before we could progress any further, etc. Um, and I wanted to get, oh, there's one already in there. Let's do up here. And I also wanted to get curtains for the room and Stephen's office, um, etc. But in the meantime, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing the art. So another thing that was hindering me with that was trying to pick what size I'm actually going to leave this wee one and use it as my mind map for the week. I'll show you what I mean in a minute with that, we'll do it together. Yeah, so I was, I bought a digital art piece and I, you know, what size do you print it? I can print it massive, I can print it small. So I figured by pre-buying the frames, not only would it help me in the sense that I can go, okay, right, this frame is the one I'm going to have this piece of art in. 
and then I can go online and order it in the exact size that I already have the frame for. So it takes that sort of what size am I going to get the prints in out of it. But then I also, because they're a set of 10, they all match and it came with like this, hold on, I'll get it, this here. So I get to put it um, on the wall in advance. So I'm going to use like masking tape or if I can find glue tack or something. Hold on, sorry, I'll save you the noise of this and open it. So here is the set of 10, they're black outline. And I don't necessarily have to do it in that configuration, but I have a piece of paper that is the exact size. Oh, no, I don't think this is the paper. Yes, it is. <laughs> Honestly, worth right. Yeah, so these are the two big ones. And then I have ones that are basically the size of each frame I have a little square for. And I can do that layout on the floor as many times as I want moving them around. But I can actually physically stick these to the wall and see, you know, without having to actually go to the extent of sticking it up with a command strip going, oh, I hate this and rearranging it a hundred times, I can play about. So that has really took the procrastination away from me and the fear to get started. And this year I am determined to finish spaces and make more progress. So yeah, anyway, back to the point of this. I am going to leave that aside for the mind map. We'll do that in a second. Because I actually have my coffee mon or my not coffee monsters co planner monkey co stickers in. I'll maybe do a wee haul of this here actually. So yeah, we'll do that together. I'll do a haul of this and then we'll put the mind map in because the stickers in this are going to be used for it. Um rather than adding this to a separate haul. My word, tangent city Ruth. Right. <laughs> what am I doing? Yes, they're all down. So let's put the actual plans in. I need to take a drink. So Monday, I need to update the grocery app. I've got into the habit now of having Tuesday deliveries. For a long time, I was getting like two deliveries a week and stuff, but um, and I was working really well. I had that notion that I didn't want to plan out what I was eating so far in advance. But then to be honest, <laughs> I got fed up of having to update the app and think about the grocery shopping two times. So there's pros and cons of both sides. But anyway, at the minute I'm in a phase of one shop a week. So let's just get this plain box and put it up here. And then get my, and it's this book this time, stickers, for chores, to update the groceries. There we go. Let's use a grocery bag. And then as well as that, I actually have a nail and lash appointment at five. And I've covered the five o'clock slot, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Let's use a smaller box and put it here. And then above it, I have health and self-care. Nail and lash appointment. A little blue nail polish down here. Both of these, by the way, are from Hubman and Shop Girl. So that's the two things I need in on the Monday. On the, on the Tuesday, I have the actual Tesco delivery. Let's use this darker brown box. It's a 12. Actually, that's brown beside brown. Mm. I'm going to put this up here. To mark a reminder to leave out the bins. I'll do that. Um, and then I'll use glue down here to do the Tesco delivery and the 12 is not covered so I can do a little dot. So we need bins and Tesco delivery. I normally do a little computer beside update the groceries because I'm updating it on the app. I forgot myself there and I can't be bothered lifting that sticker up. So let's just do a basket on the delivery day. They're delivering like little crates. Oh, <gasps> so over dramatic, aren't I? There. <laughs> and then <clears throat> we need our. And that was for the bins. Oh, what is wrong with my brain today? And I've already ripped there too. It's been a long week. That is the Tesco delivery. And 
then on Wednesday I mark what the bins are and on Tuesday I mark the taking them out reminder. You guys could probably tell me what my plans are for the week before I even put them down because I am that predictable. Let's do the bin bag for the day to take them out. Um, and I'll use this little grey Tesco, Tesco? <laughs> Coffee Monsters Co. doodle for the actual what the bins are. Move that to the side. And then I have three dots, so I'll do them down here. One, two, three. That there. And that there, to cover the little mishap. There, like it never happened. The only other thing I need to put in is on the Friday, it's my mum's birthday. And I think I want to use a po or sticky note to write mum's birthday, but I also want to put something beside it, fancy. Um, let's go to the birthday section. Do you know what? I'm going to put these little clinking glasses. Yeah, just for something different. Okay, let's get the zebra sarasa pen. Hold on. I like to tidy up as I go along. Yes, so zebra sarasa pen, and we're going to write everything in. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. So before I do the little haul and update my mind map, I have this little tray beside me. I'll lift that out to show you. I'm going to get all my stickers into here for the week and I will put the washi in here and just keep it in here to reach. So whenever I need space fillers, it's there. And then I can keep this and this in it. Just give me a little wee second and I will empty these out. This really works for me. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay Right! That is me all planned for the week. Just noticed I forgot to write Instagram and YouTube. Right, let me show you my quick haul and then we'll sort out the mind map. Yes, I got this little order. The Planner Muggy Co is brilliant for dates and day headers, but I actually was having a nosy at their washi and I might be doing a washi haul from them soon because I was very impressed, let's just say, and wanted to buy them all. So yes, you get this little journal card with it and then some freebies. So we have self care is giving the world the best of you instead of what's left of you. Very good little card. And then this is the Macy Meal subscription. It's like a sneak peek of their subscription for February, 2023. The leaves must be like a floral theme. I've been given that as a little freebie. And then just my thank you card. But the actual order, I ordered two of the cafe color and I think I ordered about nine of the gray and you've seen me use these before. I love these because 
they cover the date without you having to use Tipex to cover the date. So I'm able to use them in the monthlies because I love starting my monthlies on a Monday. Um, so that's why I needed to get more. I used, I had bought a whole pile of these, but I used them to redate a 2024 planner into my 2023 memory planner. So I didn't have to go the whole way through the planner and tip X out the old dates. I was able to just stick this right on top because it's not see-through. Um, and then um, this year I wanted to get more because I've decided to do it in my monthly. This is HS40 and this is, like that's, um, it looks like an R, but R is it a lowercase h? I think it's HS37. So that's the two of them. I decided not to take all these off and put them on release, release paper. Um, I just lift them out as you saw me do today and use them as I need. So I'll pop them in there for now. Anyway, and then these I got as well. So it was just a small order. And this is what I'm going to be using. The typewriter font will be used in my socials journal and the cursive font is going to be used in my planner. And these are the 2024 Monday start weeks. And it's just, like it says, so January 1st to 7th, 8th to 14th, the whole way through. I used a set of these last year in both my memory planner and in my journal. Um, on the mind map in the journal, it was a different kind of mind map um, and I wanted to get more. So they're both on transparent that I ordered, but you can get them on matte white and you can see what I mean. So for the first week I did 2024, hello 2024, sorry it was called, kit. And then this was the Arctic Winter, Icy Wonderland and Plants. And now I'm going to add, instead of it just saying week one. Oh, she has changed these. Last year they were cut like in a bubble directly around the writing. But I'm actually glad she's done this because it's going to make it easier to lift off. I don't know if you can even see that because, do you see what I mean? It's like not cut around the writing, kiss cut. I actually prefer that, definitely. <laughs> So anyway, so week one, I have now got January the 1st to the 7th. And then week two, 8th to the 14th. And yeah, obviously this is not essential, but I just really enjoy it. And I enjoyed using them last year. Hmm, this isn't gonna fit. To, to the side here. Um, but yeah, I love how that looks. That really set it off, if you ask me. So anyway, we need to do today's. So today we have, so I put a little something to represent the theme I chose. In this case, we're using this little guy here. And it is week five and 29th to the 4th of February. Yay. And I might actually sit and take these off and put them in this part here, um, my yearly section. Um, I have like names that I'll not need to next year, but I have this blank space now. I only have um, two things that say 2024 left. And these are all like spring forward, fall back and events and stuff. And I might just pop them in there rather than keeping this separate sheet because I hate having separate sheets, as I'm sure you've gathered by now. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that today. Enjoyed hanging out. Um, hope you're enjoying working in your planners or whatever systems um, that you're using. But anyway, take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye.